there was a sketch um, that I wrote with my friend. Okay, she wrote it, and she said, you got to do this. You're going to sing. And I had to sing the entire Star Spangled Banner. Um, <laughs> and it was... it. <laughs> <laughs> boomed it bombed it bombed it bombed <laughs> like it bombed so bad that i was getting like pats on the back because it was like that was a sick bomb um did did there's water leaking or no no just a regular water system no bro it's on the ground by the plugs <laughs> it's all good it's all good it stopped uh okay when you when you, <laughs> no it's fine <laughs> Is it okay? <laughs> it's okay. just with all the chords okay. and things. But if this is our last well, we, will we, and we testament. We got Italians here, so they're experts on plumbing. <laughs> they can help this out real quick. Uh, I'm Italian. It's okay. Uh, listen, can you just when when you were approaching the song, did it start with the song? Or did it go uh, no, into no, it? it was like Could a you feel sketch. like as you were getting to the song, you were like, "This is going to bomb." No, because, like, even if I do bomb, I know I'm funny. I know the people who wrote, wrote it was funny. But it's also a way of passage. You have to bomb. Like, it happens. It's, but you happen singing to... bombing is oh, a different degree. Oh, That's yeah, it's horrible. horrible. Yeah. And I sing it by myself. But, like, I'm like, this is fucking awesome. I'm singing the fucking Star Spangled Banner for Lauren Michaels. And uh, then just to, like, stab it in the heart a little harder, I stood on my chair at the end. <laughs> That's That's brave. <laughs> I, when, what, what's your, if you bomb either that or like a set, do you have anything to shake it off? Um, there's a lot of candy on the table. Is it, because for me, recently I've, I've started, I walk and I have a, I have a cigarette, I'm not a smoker, and I have a cigarette. You are a smoker now. Uh, Yeah, now I am. (laughs) Now I am. (laughs) (laughs) I, uh, but I once, there was a comedian who told me this story. Uh, speaking of SNL, he was working with Tracy Morgan at Catch a Rising Star, and he it was his first big set for a sold out show at Catch a Rising Star, and he like bombed, just ate shit. And when he went in the green room, he went up to Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan said, "Don't get that bomb on me." <laughs> and <laughs> and he walked oh, out God. in the back alley and just cried and cried oh. and cried. Oh. And I I miss those days of comedy. Sometimes I think that's <laughs> I don't think I'd ever say I would I I know. Even if I'm mean here, I would never say that to another human being. But sometimes I think it's good. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, when I bomb on stand-up, I'm like, I know I bombed, and it's okay, and that happens. And if somebody is going to be like, you crush, I'm going to go, no, I said it. I hate shit. But that's okay, because there's a show tomorrow night. You know what I mean? It's we, we, we're on a sketch team, mm-hmm. and we used to do a lot more shows. Mm-hmm. But w- whenever we had like a mediocre show, mm-hmm. not us, but maybe some other members of the group, be like, mm-hmm. "That was great," it, they, and we, try to like it, convince they, they, we you was really good. that we, it was not just fine or not great. You and know? and uh, you and I would usually we'd text. Be we'd honest. be texting. We'd be like, like Don't. "No, <laughs> that was not good. That was not yeah, good. yeah, yeah." <laughs> it's okay. It's you okay, guys. guys. It it's doesn't. Okay. It doesn't matter. We had less people at that sketch show than we do at this <laughs> podcast recording right now. We're completely fine. I've always thought for sketch shows, I've always wanted this, and I've told you this before, that I always wanted a rope in the downstage corner that once a show, <laughs> you could pull to be, we're not doing this sketch anymore. Yeah, we're, we're because gonna, like, we're that, that's the worst feeling is when you've, you're two or three minutes into an eight minute sketch. Why eight minutes? That, you know, <laughs> you should have known it's going to bomb already, but like you're in it and it's going so badly that you're like, once a show, you should be allowed to like, Pull the rope. We're oh, yeah. cutting. We're cutting. Because that's what you can do in stand-up. You can be yeah. like, bah. okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, I abso- absolutely, especially it's my first year. I don't know. I never was a sketch writer. I was stand-up and improv, but not sketch writer. And I am on the learning curve. Uh, so yeah, I've seen my shit bomb all the all over. Everywhere. It would be funny to at watch table. someone at a live SNL taping have a crisis and go like, ah, we're not going to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to commercial. <laughs> now you're giving me some ideas. <laughs> um, well, let's go on to our next segment. Yes. This has got to stop. This has got to stop. There you go. There we go. Woo! Yeah, that was great. That's from the podcast. If yep. you listen. Is everything okay, Italy? I just wanted to hear you say. 
It is. Um, do you do you have a This Has Gotta Stop? I do. You can pull out your phone. Do you have a This Gotta Stop? Yes. Okay. Say it. What's your This Has Gotta Stop? <laughs> okay, Jesus okay, Christ okay, almighty. Okay, okay. You go first. Okay, I'll go first. Uh, I'm, I'm in a show right now. And something that's got to stop is sometimes uh, no one here, so don't worry. Um, but sometimes people in my life who haven't seen the show I'm in, they're like, oh, are you still doing that show? And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I've been doing it since November. And they're like, I'm going to come see it. And then, then I see them two or three months later, and they're like, I'm going to come see it. And I'm a little like, listen, I can't do this song and dance with you anymore. I can't do it. I don't care if you come. I don't want to talk to you about it. And also, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to leave that show, and they're going to not have come. And then they're going to, I'm going to have to do the song and dance with them, being like, yep. oh, I really wanted to see it. No, you didn't. You didn't. You would have come if you wanted to see Next it. Time's... And that's fine. I just don't want to do this dance anymore with them, you know? Next... Because it's all they ask about. And I'm like, I got other things going on. You're like, let's try this. Next time someone says it. Yeah. You should go do it. <laughs> I then, dare you. Then play I that dare music you and be like, Tom, 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 just do it. <laughs> come now. I'm on my way. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> but it is true that if you do that next level sunrise, it'll it'll turn that off in them. I I know people where they they'll they'll see me or, or they're on the you know they're on the train and they know me from TikTok or whatever and they mm -hmm. go, oh my god, I'm a big fan and I go, that's so great, because you live here. And I'm doing that tonight. Yeah. At Sesh Comedy Club. And when I tell you how I see someone who was looking at me with adoration, the light just leave their eyes. <laughs> they, they just prefer watching you for 60 seconds on the toilet. For, yes. You know? <laughs> and, but they, they, they used to see me as like someone they liked, and now I'm like someone, a stranger you're, asking them a you're favor. You're like trying to do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I might as well ask them, could please, you help please, me please, move? Please, 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 come to my please, 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 walk please. with me, walk with me. <laughs> come on. All right, my this got to stop. And audience, listen, we're going to turn it over to you in a little, so if you have any, start thinking of them. Yeah. But first listen to mine. Uh, and feel free to disagree <laughs> with me on this one. You might. Okay. So uh, I think it was announced recently that Al Pacino is about to have his fourth kid or his yeah. third kid. Yeah. Yes. And he's, he's uh, of course, you know, Al Pacino, of course. We I can have daily updates on Pacino. And then also Robert De Niro. Yes. Seventh. Seventh. And, and Robert De Niro is, is 84. They're, they're in their 80s, I believe. Maybe late 70s, uh -huh. 80s. Let's just say 80. 80s, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, they look in their thousands. But... Uh, there's people who go like that is so irresponsible that kid is going to grow up without a father. That's not the worst thing in the world sometimes. <laughs> Enough with this because let me go deeper with it. I think there is a heteronormative belief deeply that every person should have a a a father and a mother in their 20s or their 30s or their 40s having a kid and that is the ideal lifestyle yet that has resulted in murderers and serial killers and war criminals and some of the worst monsters people in the entire world so look yeah maybe it will suck when they're eight and they lose their dad but you can lose your dad at any age, and those kids are going to be fucking loaded. They're going to be fucking loaded as fuck, and no one's going to fuck with them because their dad's Al Pacino. They could go to Italy and sell out a show on nothing, just on showing up to the venue. So this idea, I understand it's weird, and I understand people might go like, the thought of like Pacino coming makes you uncomfortable. But he still does. Not me. He I still haven't does. thought about it till now. <laughs> I imagine a whoa! Uh, oh! <laughs> you think he just says lines? <laughs> um, I think I think there's a degree where people just that's just a different life. It's just a different life. So you lose your dad when you're eight. You lose your dad when you're forty. Uh, you, you can have a happy family. I think you're allowed to have kids at that age. That's my opinion. What do you think? I, I agree. I, I didn't know. <laughs> I agree. I don't know. I don't. Who's fighting you? Just, on this? I, I just. I, I feel like I see. <laughs> there, there, he, seems like, he seems like you were in a room full of people that were like, "He can't have kids," and you were like the only person. I know some people in this room disagree with me. <laughs> Anyone? Okay, oh, good. Okay. Uh, I mean, you everyone. definitely made a good point because that was like. But I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. But also, like, I'm like, damn, like I was old. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this is your grandpa. 
but but some some dads are young and that they're do bad. Do you have a fantasy about not becoming a dad till you're like eighty? Like, is there? It feels like you're then you don't have to deal I with it. I think it's really. more the fantasy of of only having a dad for six years. Okay. <laughs> This crowd, they don't like it. This yes, goddamn it. crowd, I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh my god. Um, what's your this has got to stop? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh god, I have short term memory. Like, okay, I go away, do remember. Don't take this Do you need to skip two cards? Is that don't the only way you operate the wrong anymore? Way. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> that job is giving me short term memory. Straight weddings. <laughs> Woo! Like, uh-huh. The shit that I have to fucking do for you straight people is gone too far. <laughs> like, I have friends that they're going broke because they're going on these trips for bachelorette parties and they gotta buy the dress and then they gotta. And I'm like, how much money? Tell me. I'm like, I like berate my friends, like, tell me how much you spent for this person. Tell me. And they're like, $2,500. And I'm like, Jesus. Can we just have a party and be done? Like, I just, there's this one that's been going on for so many months that I'm like, have they been married for four years? Maybe it's just me, but like. Well, you said, no, are you saying that like uh, gay weddings are, not they have that less requirements? Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's just, maybe, yeah. And in, in many ways, yes. I mean, my friend Jay Jordan's wedding, it was in Brooklyn. Uh-huh. It was pretty chill. Yeah. So I guess that's true. I mean. <laughs> and if he, had, if he had a bachelor party, <laughs> I don't know if I could have gotten it. Jay would have had a wild bachelor party. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Someone said, yeah, are you friends with Jay Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> you know Jay, right? Like, yeah. 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 So I'd say Jay's, Jay's bachelor Jay. party. Yeah. <laughs> there'd, be, there'd be more dicks at that than a bachelorette party. <laughs> but maybe I'm being mean. But really, no, it's no. like. You gotta. F- <laughs> yeah, because, okay, l- let's put it this way. You go to a bachelorette party. It's in Vegas. You have to buy a ticket. You have to pl- buy a place to stay. You have to buy a dinner and drinks and everything for the bride. Then you have to fly home. And then in like three weeks, there's gonna be a bridal shower. Then you have to go to the bridal shower, but yeah. you have to get them a really gnarly gift, but not as good as the wedding gift that you're gonna get them. So then. You're what's next? Oh, and then you're like, well, we got, we got, we have to actually. Are going to be wearing like these dresses for the rehearsal dinner, and then after we're gonna be wearing this like blue dress. But like, I'm gonna let you guys pick it, but it's gonna be from this store, and it's gonna be this much. So actually, I'm picking it's this one. It's seven hundred and fifty dollars, and you can totally wear it again. You're gonna wear it again. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, sorry. Like your yeah. fucking wedding. I think I just blacked yeah. out. <laughs> Was your wedding like that? I'm so sorry. No, don't be sorry. Listen, You're I did. You're horrible. I know. <laughs> I, but I didn't force you. Listen, I, I didn't. You didn't have to come to showers. There was not. There was two things, and it was optional. Both of them. You know and when also, someone's just optional. How many times have I come to see like, you? How many times have I come to Mohican Sun and got in a room to come see your comedy fucking show? Fucking once. Okay. <laughs> once. One time you went I've to a casino. It, I've done it twice. That's the equivalent of a wedding and uh, and, uh, and, a, and a bachelor That's party. That's like being like, hey, it's optional, but my mom <laughs> passed, and you have to, the funeral is Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's but my thing. But you don't thing. have to go. Home. Yeah. As someone, That's so bad. My mom is well and healthy and alive, and I never wanted her to die. Sorry, I said it. <laughs> no. If if I Why think I if that? if I don't get married like by fifty. And I've been, if I've been to your wedding, for example, I think when my dad or mom dies, you are <laughs> obligated, if I, if I so choose, to fly to that. To your dad's funeral? <laughs> yeah, I will go to your mom's. Because I went to Florida I've, for your wedding. I've never met your dad. I've met your mom multiple times. I'll go to her funeral. I'm not going to your dad's funeral. You're not even going to go to your dad's funeral. <laughs> Oh my no, god! No, we kid, we kid, we kid. Um, I'll go, sure. I'll go. And I'm adding a bachelor party, a funeral. <laughs> okay, okay. A, an orphan party, about. an orphan this party. Okay, okay, about. okay. I'll go. I'll go to both. I'll go to both because I'm a good friend. Yeah. But I agree, it's crazy. I think it's the th- the shower component and the fact that there's a clothing thing connected yeah. to it. Those two additions. And feel... all the stays. Yeah. And like the hotels and the flights and. 
Um, but now I have some money, so I'll go. <laughs> yeah. But I, I love my friends and my family. <laughs> 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 but I just love the gay ones more. <laughs> um, happy, any, pride. Uh, happy pride. <laughs> happy pride. Happy yeah. pride. Uh, You're listening to The Downside. The Downside. With John Marco Cerezi.